The big question, how young is too young to own a cell phone? And what, if any, rights do teens have regarding their cell phones while in school? Well, one district has moved to take a stand on what usually ends up being a hot button debate. Good afternoon, I'm Janae Town. I'm Erin Kiernan. Thanks for being with us. WHO 13's Roger Riley joins us live from Iowa Falls, where a superintendent is laying out some compelling reasons for banning cell phones in school. Yeah, Aaron, you know, the idea of banning phones during a classroom time may come as sort of a shock to some, but there are a few schools in Iowa that have already made that move. Now, I spoke with Superintendent Tony Newman. He told me it comes basically comes down to this, kids making social media videos between classes. Well, we've been having a rise in, in just issues with the phones that it's not the text message, it's not the distractions, like it's really the social media connection. Um, so we had some students filming, filming other students, staging some things to be filmed. We had sent a letter, you know, been a year ago, the whole TikTok challenge, I'm sure you're aware of that, of all the destruction. It's just becoming, it's becoming more of a problem than, than we can get our hands around. So we're looking at, okay, when the bell rings, your phone's in your locker. And the phones are in the locker, so once school ends, they can retrieve their phones. The students do have school-issued iPads, but they have to stay in the classroom so kids can't video in the hall between classes. I found some incoming seniors who are not at all happy with the rule of having to give up their phone during class. But I don't think they, the school should be banned or anything. Like, I feel like, yeah, I'll have my, I, I personally will have my phone out in class, but I'll still learn. I'll still get good grades, I feel like. So, like, I feel like it shouldn't even be banned. I don't think it's really that important because, like, you could be in school and your family could have issues and, like, they want to get a hold of you. How are you supposed to get a hold of them when you don't have your phone on you? And then, like, everything that we do on our phones, we can just do on our computers. Like, we can get around the block stuff at the school. Now, the superintendent said that they can get messages to students if need be, and he acknowledged that there are some students who have managed to hack and work around the blockers to social media sites. He said they'll just have to do a better job staying ahead of those students. But in the end, Aaron, he said the main goal is to educate students, and they're trying to increase their engagement and take away that distraction of the cell phone so kids can learn, and that's why they're in school, Aaron. Roger, Janae, and I were just laughing because as soon as I got done tossing to your live shot, my watch started dinging <laughs> right on cue, speaking of distractions. So we all get it. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Roger.